Hi, I'm Ash, and normally I make music like... But in this video, I'm gonna try and make something a little more cinematic. Something you'd hear in epic movies, or ahem, Elden Ring type games. Stop trying to make Elden Beats happen. Some might call it the final boss of producing. So let's make a cinematic final boss type of beat today. The plan is simple. First, I'm going to attempt to see if any of my EDM knowledge can transfer over to these sounds. We'll try to see if my vibes-based producing will make a decent result. Then I'm gonna do a genuine deep dive on how to compose cinematic music to see what I can improve and then put it all together, hopefully creating a cinematic masterpiece. That'd be a pretty sick video, right? But no! You sub for electronic music. So the final boss will be to take what we just made and resample it or somehow incorporate it into some kind of electronic song. That sounds pretty hard, but in the last few weeks, I have been resampling Elden Ring boss themes. You keep trying and it's not happening. Whatever! Let's get into it. Now this is gonna be interesting because if you also make EDM, you might have realized that we're gonna have to make music without all the tools like sound design, synth spectral resonators, our plethora of effects. What am I gonna do without OTT? Will it even be possible to make something that will bring the cinematic boss battle vibes? Only one way to find out. So first step will be to find some orchestral sounds, which at least I don't have to do much sound design. Uh, these are kind of expensive. Good thing we've got this video sponsor, Output Arcade, and their library of orchestral sounds is much more accessible than... So, with sounds acquired, I will be, as they say, raw-dogging it. I like how they just have cinematic as one of the genres, so let's start with that. Large string sustain. Let's actually make it a chord. Movement. Now, I wonder if we do like a flute or something. Okay, maybe brass actually. I mean, like a, a proper like trumpet. And I think if we chords these. I think it's gotta be like low. Or what other instruments can I add some like low end? You know, as the EDM guy, it's like, I need to have that low end all the time. And I don't know how to do that. Not with orchestral music anyway. It's the poop saw of the orchestra. Heavy cinematic drums. Okay, let's try this one. I like these. Go back to cinematic. Ooh, that, 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 that. And I make it do something fast. Choppy, I can make it. Okay. I'm doing a lot of EDM type stuff. Very rhythm focused. However, while I had the sounds, listening back, this doesn't exactly sound right. And while the stream team was being quite charitable, I knew I needed to step this thing up. Now, rather than spend attempt after attempt through trial and error, trying to get orchestral cinematic composition correct, much like the games that inspired this video, I instead looked up a guide on YouTube. That's right! My fascination with music of games like Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Bloodborne led me down a rabbit hole of videos. So shout out to Mark Giovanni, Zach Hyde, and 8-Bit Theory for breaking down both the concepts and music theory behind cinematic orchestral music. But it is really interesting coming from an EDM perspective because one of the big things I learned was something that I do a lot in EDM is that we'll literally write like the main idea all on like a piano or something. And then it's funny that I didn't do that during the first attempt because I thought because I had all the sounds already, I might as well use them. So let's start with the chord progression. And a lot of my inspiration is coming from like Souls games and stuff. So I want to do it with like a dark thing. So I think our pedal will be like D. Mm. 
and then I think the bass note would be good, like, rhythm. Okay, and then another thing that a lot of, like, souls music does, there'll be some kind of movement in the background. I think I want to make it a little faster, too. We'll hold the pedal down. Like a pickup. Up. Down. Now someone said lower octave and you I feel like another instrument would come in here. Okay, come on, souls like for sure. Now that the main idea is figured out, it's time to apply these to different orchestral sounds. However, since the endgame will be resampling, I would likely won't be focusing on all of the realistic nuances and dynamics that you normally hear. So any actual orchestral composers or producers, don't flame me. There was, however, another really interesting thing that I learned with each instrument family having its own way to fill the whole frequency spectrum, but at the same time, having a different role when it comes to leads, to accompaniment, to bass, and you know what? Let me just show you. So now, this is where we can bust out Sponsor of this video! A lot of these sounds can be found in Arcade. They literally have a whole cinematic section. A lot of sample-based stuff, but I'm gonna stay away from samples today, and I'm going to use the actual instruments. For the chords, I need something sustained. So I'm looking for like a low sustain. Oh, like this. I will be taking these notes. This is our Reese bass. I'm gonna layer this with a trombone or a tuba or something. Yes. And I think we can chords this. Do the fifth. You know what's kind of funny though with like orchestral stuff? I've been to like a live orchestra show before when I was like sitting there watching the orchestra and nothing was mic'd up. There was no PA or sound system. You're just literally hearing the orchestra itself. Every instrument had its place. I think a big misconception that happens in production is once I get the mix right, it'll fix everything. It's like, no, bro, get your song ideas in place. Get all of that figured out because people have been writing music for years and years and no one's no one's on stage at an orchestra EQing the, the tuba as they're playing. No, it's just, it's all exactly where it needs to be. And you have to look at your songs that way. Anyway, let's get these chords mapped out. Large string sustain thing would do. And then they'll layer it and then they'll do like another octave of the chords and then there'll be like another layer of horns and i think it's like damn <laughs> i didn't realize how many layers there are okay if we layer this with a horn hopefully my computer doesn't explode this should be on a string i think these on like strings and horns would go crazy okay what kind of string though oh this might be it Okay, this plus a string. Maybe that. I wonder if I can fix the attack on this. I think the harp will kind of give us that attack. It's just like EDM, guys. You're getting the attack layer. Yo, that's it. Oh! I know they have a Glock in here. Bra, bra, bra. I want to put a poop saw in so badly. <laughs> Ash and adding poop saw, name a better duo. That low end, that's what I want. Yo! All right, all right, entering the boss room. <laughs> Wait, okay, okay, then we need like a... I really want 
want to make this like a lead. Oh. Or this one too. Oh, this one could be fired. Yeah, no, we're cooking up. Not overlapping. Okay, it might be a little bright for Dark Souls music, but we're, we're there. With the orchestra acquired, now comes the hard part. Incorporating electronic elements into the song. Or is that the easy part? Okay, what would happen if I just put a build up? <laughs> In a world, yeah, for real. <laughs> I know I said I don't do sound design on stream. However, I gotta cook. W's in the chat for init patch right now. I wanna see some love for init patch. Hell yeah! <laughs> Imagine. What the fuck is up, Lost Lands? Okay, wait, wait, I promise I'll make it cool. Okay, let's bring some of this orchestra. I said I would only do a little bit of sound design on stream, guys. A little resample. Look at that sausage, bro. Film producers would look at this and be like, no. Listen, your waveform spiky, gross. My waveform brushed, smooth, mindful, demure. Oh, I will do the trick that we did from Elden Beats. We go gate, side chain, kick, snare. Every time the kick and snare hits, it triggers this sample. So, in theory... <laughs> there we go. Terra guns could save this. Okay, we're getting to like Skrillex reptile territory, but I'm not mad about it. And as I began to put together the electronic elements of the song, something really cool happened where I was more aware of what types of layers that I needed given all that I learned while making the orchestral section until eventually I ended up blending in all of those concepts with EDM. We're close. It's not quite there yet, but that's the problem. Everything kind of sounds like rhythm. Arcade's got to have some kind of like loud. A guitar! Hang on! Let's make it super distorted. It kind of sounds like a string. It fits with the orchestra theme, though. Give me more! Flute! Why am I yelling? Sorry, guys. I think this lead just needs a lower layer or like a third layer. And what's nice is let's, let's mess around with some of these. Yup. Close 
popping off. Welcome back, Elden Beats. What if you haven't watched those videos? Please do. I had a really great time making them, and I genuinely enjoyed the music that came out of it. And who knows? Maybe if these videos pop off, I'll actually finish the EP. But in conclusion, this was a really fun change of pace from the music I normally make. It's always fun trying stuff that I've never really done before, and this genuinely gave me some new insights when producing. I might have to do more cinematic stuff in the future. Toss me a like if you agree. Also, big thank you to Output for sponsoring the video. Couldn't have done it without you. You can use my link down in the description to get 50% off your first paid month of arcade. Are you gonna try and think a little more orchestrally? Is that even a word? Let me know in the comments. And while you're down there, check out the full track. It's down in the description, along with full start to finish videos of both tunes on Patreon. Or if free is more your style and you want to see more of my face, hit that subscribe button. And most importantly, go make some bangers. Bye.